Hello there, I'm Lara. Welcome to this episode of I Saw It, I Liked It, and I Made It, where I go shopping and I find a garment that I like, and then I try to recreate it in my own sewing room. So today's video, I'm going to show you the process that I took to recreate this dress. And then I also encourage you to kind of keep an eye out for two errors that I made that almost destroyed the project. <laughs> so um, at the end of the at the end of the video, I will reveal them to you. If you um, you know if you if you aren't able to see it, I will reveal them to you. My first initial, I guess, thoughts on this are that did I do it? Did I recreate that dress? or did I not? And so I kind of think I did, but not really. <laughs> so I used it more as a, the initial garment, we'll call it the target garment. Um, I used it as a inspiration, I think, for this dress more than um, an actual recreation. I like What I liked about the dress, the target garment, was that um, it had this neckline where it comes down without you know it's open and then it had the buttons below and I liked the elastic waistband but I didn't feel it was the most flattering on me and then I liked the skirt but it wasn't quite long enough of a skirt and also I don't think it had pockets it might have had pockets and the sleeves the sleeves of the target dress were long sleeves with an elastic casing and I don't exactly like elastic casings but I liked the the overall look of the dress when I went to start to make it, I had a plaid fabric in mind. It's a like a brushed cotton from Joann's. It's pretty blue. You will be seeing that in a future video because I am gonna be making something up out of that. I had a lot of it. I was like, this is a perfect opportunity to use it. But when I started to make, you know, I was thinking about it and I was pulling the patterns to try to, you know, get it ready to get started. I realized that the brushed cotton was really too um, firm. It was a little thicker and had more structure than I think that the dress would would be. So I, um, I punted over to this pretty cotton sateen that I've had um, from Fabric Mart. Let me see if I can, uh, you can, you'll see it all over in the reveal. I think it reminds me of Ralph Lauren um, from the 80s, maybe the 90s, but um, I think it's La Ralph Lauren who used a lot of this like kind of floral. I'm not sure. So tell me if you know who I'm talking about, which designer in the 80s used a lot of this. It might have been Chaps. I don't know. Is Ralph Lauren associated with Chaps? I like this fabric. It's a sateen. It's much um, more um, floaty and so it just went better with this dress. So I changed the I changed the, the fabric so it's not a plaid. I changed the sleeves because um, I don't like elastic casings around my waistband, around my wrist. I have found that like the last two shirts that I've made with elastic casings, and part of the problem is because it's not long and like the sleeves are ending up being a little bit shorter than like around my sleeve but um, they still ride up and then they cut, I feel like they're cutting circulation off on my arms. I'm sure it's fine, it's just not comfortable for me. So, um, so I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and make these sleeves instead. And I really like these sleeves, they're really cute. And because they're not so oversized um, and blousey, um, right next to my upper body, I think that it helps to make me look more proportional and less um, chesty, like just really big through here. Um, it kind of slims me down. Um, I did not put in an elastic waistband because, um, well, partially because the bodice really didn't lend itself to that. In order to get this kind of a, a top neckline and then the buttons, I um, had to, you know, then I just cut it off about waistline, a little bit below waistline for the seam allowance. And um, there's two darts in the front, two darts in the back, and then the two bust darts. So I ended up um, taking out the back darts 
to have enough roominess around around me um, to be able to pull the shirt the dress off over my head um, because I didn't want to put in the elastic waistband because then it would have just been all of that shaping would have been lost and so instead I opted to leave the front darts in and then just attach the skirt to the waistband. The thing that happened though was that I thought I was sewing the seam high enough that it would be at waist height and it actually ended up being just a little bit shorter. Um, it's a kind of an inch extended like dropped waist, maybe two inches, two inch drop waist. Um, I still like it. Um, however, it is not true to the, the garment that I had intended. Um, so let's see. I didn't, I didn't do the sleeves quite the same. I didn't do the waist quite the same. I didn't use the fabric quite the same. I do have the same neckline. Um, the skirt is a little bit longer. Um, I was going to attach a ruffle and decided not to because this ended up being just the right length. So did I actually end up doing the, the dress? Um, well, I don't know, but I ended up with a nicer dress, I think. <laughs> I like this dress a lot. Um, the, the shaping, you know, gives some, you know, it, it doesn't hide my body. I like how the, the top is fitting and classy, but, um, you know, it's still loose and I feel comfortable wearing it. I, I don't think it's very much like the Target dress, but I, I like the dress a lot. And it was an, a good exercise for me to um, kind of think things through. Um, attaching the skirt to the bodice was probably the most difficult decision I had. Um, it was, you know, I, I entertained different options and I just didn't want to have that elastic look. So I could have put in a, a drawstring, I could have put in an elastic waistband. Um, I'm glad that it turned out that the, the bottom of the bodice was large enough that I could just um, attach it because I think that it looks a lot better. Let me put in the reveal and I will let you kind of look and see if you can spot the two things that happened um, without, um, you know, without me saying them. And then after the reveal, I will show you what they are. So I'm going to take this off too. So I'll talk to you in a second. that are a little bit wonky. The first thing is the buttons, which you can't see the buttons, <laughs> which makes me happy. Um, let me see if I can get it even close enough that you can see. So here's, let me show you. Here's a button, here's a button, here's a button, and then here's a button, and then here's the waist seam. I mean, yeah, the waist seam. So these buttons and this button, as you can see, this one is this far apart, these are this far apart, and then those are that far apart. The buttons are uneven. And the only thing I can think that happened was that when I had marked where to start the buttonholes, that I had done the first one and the second one, like, so I marked them and then I realized that my sewing machine goes the opposite direction first, so I, remarked them but I think that the second one so the second one was right but then the subsequent ones got all messed up I think I used the wrong mark for the third one and then it was just sad it was just sad however the buttons that I used you know, uh, totally blend in to the dress and you cannot tell that that's what happened so at that point, I was like, I don't know, I just, here's the thing about 
when I make mistakes on my clothing. As long as it's not really noticeable, I can't tell you how many times I've seen, like bought something and I'm like, well, I didn't notice that at the store, but I bought it and I still wore it because, I mean, I bought it, I needed to wear it. It obviously wasn't noticeable enough to me at the store, so I figure I might as well wear it. The buttons kind of are the same, I have the same opinion. It does not have to be perfect just because I made it. And um, yeah, so that was number one. Then number two is, this was sad. Can you see back here? Um, right here? Maybe you can't even see it on the camera. That's because I did such an expert job, right? Can you see it? It's right here, right here. Get it even closer, right there. So what am I pointing at? You might be going, what is she pointing at? I was trimming, yes, you might already know what happened. I was trimming um, the waistband part shorter so that I could um, sew the skirt onto the waistband and not be like two inches in. And I snipped, snipped right through the back of the bodice, right, right up here. And there was no way I could fix it. I was so sad and a couple of swear words may have been, you know, expleted because I was, because I really liked this dress. So I went and I showed my husband, I was like, oh my God, do you see what I just did? I don't know what to do. There, you can kind of see it there. So just a nice little snip. Um, and he said, well, for your video, I think you need to just scotch tape it. And then I was like, but I want to wear this dress. And then when I thought about it a little bit more and he had said about the scotch tape, I was like, I will fusible interface it so that it is, um, it's like a band-aid. It's like a garment fabric band-aid, right? Where is it? I can't even see it. Dang. Anyway, I think you saw it already. Where is that? Oh my gosh, right there. So um, I did that and then I'm going to make some fray stop and put it on the outside. And um, if it doesn't ruin it, um, I'm gonna wear it until I can't wear it anymore. And so I was very happy when I did that, that I actually had chosen to um, not finish the seams. I just uh, finished them by pinking everything. Um, and so now I'm like, well, that's good that I didn't waste all my time making the inside so beautiful when I snipped right through it and I probably won't get to wear it very much, but I am going to wear it because you really can't tell, I don't think. Well, what do you guys think? How did I do? Do you think it matches the, the reference dress, the, you know, the target garment? Or do you think I really kind of just designed my own, <laughs> designed my own dress, taking that as an inspiration. Um, either way, I'm happy with the outcome and I just wish I wouldn't have snipped through the fabric. So in the future, and I was even being careful. I was gonna say in the future, I'll be more careful. I was being careful. It's just, that's what happens, I guess. Anyway, um, thank you very much for coming and watching. I, If you're interested in this kind of video, I highly, encourage you to please subscribe. I am getting so close to a thousand subscribers. And so I would really appreciate it if you kind of pushed me over into the thousand subscriber realm. Um, thank you to everybody who has subscribed. And next week, next Sunday, I am doing a collaboration with Erin from Erin Sews. And I am so looking forward to it. It's been so much fun. I've already started kind of working on that. I hope you will join us next week. And I guess that's all. Thank you so much. You guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.